Hello and welcome to part 9. So in this video I want to start taking a look at how we can reconnect the, some of the logic so that we can now uh, move our hands again. And last time we made these two animations and I want to start off by moving them into the animations folder. And then take a look at some of the logic that we need to connect up. So if we go into the my character blueprint and move up a little bit. We have this stuff here handling controller input, which is taking care of grabbing actors and so on. And that is some of the stuff that came with the UE4 VR template. So we're going to take that apart in a moment and recreate it just differently. So we're going to go into settings first in the project settings and in under input. And here we can find on the action mappings, we have the grab left and the grab right, uh, which are right now set to the trigger. So the way this is set up is that if you push the trigger uh, all the way in, then our hands are going to be closing. And if you release the trigger, then they're going to open. So there's nothing really in between. So I'm going to be doing this in a slightly different way. So you can either keep this or you can just skip to the next part if you don't want this behavior. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be deleting these two here and then under axis mappings, I'm going to add two new axis mappings. Uh, I'm going to call them the same, grab left and grab right. Now these I'm going to set to, if you type in axis, I'm going to set to the motion control left trigger axis and this one motion controller right trigger axis and then close it up so if you open up the my character again uh, then we need to remove these two here and then recreate them grab left and grab right so as you can see now, we come in with an access value instead of um, two execution pins for holding and releasing. Um, so I'm just going to move this a little bit out of the way because we need a little bit more space. So this access value is going to be zero when we're not touching the trigger, but then when we gradually pull the trigger it's gonna increase up until one when you hold it all the way down so the grab actor event you only want to call when or that's the way at least I want to do this we only want to grab something when you completely hold the trigger down so up until then we don't want to grab anything so the way I'm going to make this is to say if the access value coming in here is going to be equal one but the current value that we have had before is not equal to one then i want to call this grab actor so for that i'm going to need a variable to hold this so i'm going to promote this to a variable and call this trigger lift and also going to drag this one up call trigger right So we want to do some comparisons here. We want to say if this is equal to one, and the previous value was not equal to one, then we want to call this grab actor and afterwards we want to set this trigger left value to be equal to this axis value now for the release that means that if this is false 
then we want to that means that the trigger value is not one then we just want to set this trigger value still Oops. to be equal to that axis value and then actually we want to do something do a check here as well but we can drag this over here we want to set that any set it anyway but we want to make a check here because we want to make a check if this is um, not zero anymore or not one anymore so make a branch here and we can just do a comparison between this value here so if this is uh, not equal to one anymore then we want to call the release actor so right now it looks a little bit messy and sure seems to be a little bit messy so I'm just gonna see if I can clean this up a little bit just to make it a little bit bit more clear but anyway um, we don't want to recreate all this really so I'm just gonna delete all this and then mark up all this stuff here and then copy paste it and position it here and then connect this up so the access value we want to connect up to this reroute node and we also want to connect it up to this trigger L right now and then we're just going to substitute or some of these var uh, variables here so the trigger right we want to drag onto the border of this and that's going to substitute it and we're going to do the same with these over here And also you want to switch out the left control with the right control. And we also need to connect this one up and then I think we are good to go. Okay. So these two trigger left and right values are also going to be the one that will drive uh, the blending of our animation. And we're going to take a look at that in the next video. So for now, uh, I'm going to take a break and I'll be seeing you in the next. So until next, bye bye.